Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how do you combine and unpivot multiple data sets together in Power Query. Let's start. All right, I'm in this simple Excel file, which is where I have a couple of sheets at the bottom. We have 2019 data, 2018, 2017, and 2016 data. All of them similar. And this data is, by the way, pivoted data. So if you take a look uh, at across the rows here, we have the names of the salesmen. Across the columns, we definitely have the months. And in between, we have the sales in units of all these salesmen. Now, this is a pivoted data. And I'd like to unpivot the data. When I say I'd like to unpivot the data, all that I'm trying to do is convert all of these numbers that you see into its individual row of their own, converting the data from a pivot table layout to an unpivot table or a transactional layout. That's what I mean to say. And not only do I want to unpivot the data, but I also want to combine the data from every single sheet, which is the year and put them all out together. So here is what I'm trying to do. If I just unhide these rows, essentially every single number, take a look, 310 will have an individual row of its own and 310 will belong to three coordinates. The first coordinate of 310 is the name of the salesperson to which it belongs to. That's one. It will also have the relevant month, which is the month of Jan, and it will also have the year, which essentially should come from the name of of the sheet. Similarly, I'd like to do that for every single number that is mentioned out here. So one row for 440, one row for 350, so on and so forth. The way that we're going to solve this problem is by a two-step approach. The first step is that we focus on one particular data set that let's just say that we try to focus on cleaning 2019 data. And once we clean 2019 data, unpivot that data, we will take the steps that we have done in Power Query and we will convert them into a function. And then we will apply that particular function to every single data set that we have, which is 2018, 17 and 16. And we will then clean those data sets as well. And eventually in the end, we will all combine that data together. Now, not only do I have to unpivot and combine, if you take a look at the spreadsheet, I do have to get rid of a couple of things that I don't really need, which is the total at the bottom, the total on the right, a couple of junk rows on the top, which is definitely should not come in my data set. So let's just see how do we unpivot, get rid of the stuff that we don't need, and then eventually combine the data together. Let's just load this data into Power Query and start from there. Obviously, I will just delete this junk stuff and I will load the data into Power Query and take it from there. All right, I'm in a blank Excel file and this is where I will start to connect with the Excel file that I showed you. So I'm just gonna go over to the data tab right here and say get data from file from an Excel workbook. I'm gonna pick up this particular workbook which contains the data which is unpivot and combine, click on import and it shows me a little window right here which contains the name of the workbook and a couple of sheets. Now remember the approach that I told you that we will take. The first part is that we are gonna pick up one particular data set, clean that up, convert that into a function and apply that particular function to all the other tables. So we could just go ahead and pick up any particular data set. Let's just go, for instance, pick up 2019. I'm just gonna click on transform data and the data gets loaded into the Power Query window. All right, once the data has been loaded into the Power Query window, I will start to clean the data and apply various steps to get rid of the things that I don't need, also to unpivot the data. The first thing is that I definitely don't need the first three rows of the data, they are junk, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna come to the Home tab, over here I have Remove Rows and I'm just gonna remove a few top rows which are three rows from the top, I'm just gonna get rid of that, say OK, and the top three rows are gone. Also, additionally, what I don't want is the total row here, something that I don't want. I'm just going to come here in the filter and just get rid of the total there is in the filter. Gone. And of course, the data is not really promoted to the header. I'm going to promote that to the header. That means the name should be a header, Jan should be a header, Feb should be a header, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to come to the Home tab, use the first row as headers, and that actually becomes a header. Remember that we also had a total on the right hand side, so we should not forget to get rid of that as well. I'm just going to go to the right hand side. There is a total right here. I'm just going to get rid of that as well. Now, once we have uh, sort of the pivoted data, now it's the time to unpivot the data. We have got rid of everything that we did not need. It's time to unpivot the data. I'm going to click on the name column, right click here and say unpivot all the other columns there are. And this is going to get unpivoted. Now, before I move ahead, I certainly would like to rename the columns. This is going to be the sales person's name, name is fine. The attribute, although, is going to be the 
the month so i'm just going to type the name right here you can also add another step to rename the columns but i just prefer it this way the value column is going to be the units here so i'm just going to rename that to units and this is actually good to go all right once i have cleaned my 2019 data i will create these steps into a function and apply all of these steps to all the other tables that i have here is what i mean to say so if you take a look at the source step this is where i connected my power query to a particular excel file and you can take a look at the path right here once i connected i had all these sheets and i navigated to one of the sheets which is 2019 up till this particular point up till the first two steps i'm just navigating to the data that i want to clean the actual cleaning of the data actually starts with step number three now here is the story so this data which is 2019 data could technically be any particular data it could be 2018 data 17 16 data till the time the structure of the data is the same it could essentially be any particular data now here is what i say is i say that once you navigate to the data and you have the data with you remove the first three rows of the data it could be any data and then i filter the rows and then i promote the headers then i remove a couple of columns and then i unpivot the data all of the steps that I have done right after step number three, which is removing off the top rows, applying the filters, unpivoting the data would be done to all the other data sets that I have. That means that I will start to initiate the function from step number three onwards. Once I have the table loaded into Power Query, I will do all the steps of removing the rows, applying the filters, unpivoting the data and so on and so forth on all the tables that I have. Now let's just see how can we convert all of these steps back into a function and then use the function on other tables as well. I'm going to hop over to the view tab. In the view tab, I have something called as an advanced editor and we'll play with the advanced editor a little bit to be able to convert into a function. So before the let statement, first of all, I'm going to declare a variable. Let's just say that my variable is my table as table. What I'm trying to say is that the user, when he loads the data into Power Query, I would need a table to be inputted into my function because you essentially have to clean up the table, unpivot the table and bring it into the right format. So I'm saying that the name of my variable is my table and the data type of that variable is going to be a table. Now, this is just the one value that I need from the user. Give me the table to clean. That's it. Now, once I ask for the variable, I have to convert it into a function. And the way that you converted something into a function in Power Query is by writing an equals to sign and a greater than sign. This is also called a rocket symbol. Once you write the rocket symbol, everything after the rocket symbol becomes a function. That means all of these steps are packed together and they will act like one particular function. This function as of now is no good because we are actually still cleaning 2019 data. So I will get rid of the first two steps. I don't really want that. My data cleaning is going to start by removing the first three rows, applying the filters, so on and so forth. So I'm going to say that I will remove the rows from the data set that the user actually gives me, not really 2019 data. So I'm just going to get rid of this particular 2019 sheet and things like that. And I'm going to uh, replace that with the variable that I have declared. Now, this variable is the variable where the user is going to input his particular data. And on that particular data, I will start to remove the top three rows, apply the filters, unpivot the columns. And all of these steps that I have done are going to be done on that particular data set. Now, once I have made that change, you can see that this removes the first three rows. And after the first three rows are removed, uh, the table is called remove top rows. This particular remove top rows goes into the next step and then filtered rows actually goes into the next step, so on and so forth. And after that, the whole query falls actually into place. Now, once I commit to this particular function, I'm just going to say done. It will actually become a function. Now, once we have the function ready, let's load the entire Excel file, which is where we could see all the sheets and clean up all the data sets and combine them together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the queries panel right here, right click and maybe start to get the file from an Excel. This is loading the data once again. So unpivot and combine, click on import, and that's the data set that I have loaded. I also would like to rename the query that I have 2019 to a better name, and I'm just gonna do that. Now, as of now, once you get to the navigator screen, it shows you the name of the Excel file and a couple of sheets right here. Now, depending upon the Excel version that you're working with, you might not be able to click on the folder, which is the name of the file, and get to all the sheets of the data. Just in case, if you're not able to click on the name of the file and then click on OK, for now, you can just maybe click on any particular sheet and then navigate ahead. So let's just say that I'm clicking on 2016. I'm just going to click on OK. What this is going to do is this is go going to actually load 2016 data into my Power Query. But hey, 
I really want to clean up all the tables together. So what I'm going to do is all the steps that have been added here right after, this, after the source step, I'm just going to delete those steps and just get back to the source. And this is where I could see all the data of that sheet, the name of the sheet, the data of the sheet, and a couple of other properties of the sheet. Now, of course, I would like to rename this 2019, the function that I have created. I'm just going to call this as unpivot. And I'm just going to come back to 2019 here. This can also be renamed as data. And what I'm going to do now is that, first of all, I'd like to rename the first column, which is the name, to an year because this is not really the name. This is the year of uh, the data set. The data is right here. You can see that the data set is actually unpivoted. This is 2019 data. This is 2018 data, so on and so forth. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to clean all of these data sets and then bring them in an unpivoted style and then combine them together. I have already created a function for that that does actually that. Now this is going to be done by the add columns tab. I'm just gonna create a custom column right here. In the custom column, I will call the function that I created. The name of that function is unpivot. That's what I wrote. Once I start the bracket, it's going to ask me the variable that I declared. Which table would you like to clean? And the name of the variable that I declared was my table. I'd like to clean these tables, the first table, the second table, the third table, the fourth table, and all of these tables are kept in the data column, pick up one by one and clean all the tables. I'm just going to feed the data column right here. I'm just going to close the bracket, commit to the formula, say OK. Now I again get a table, but the difference between the data table which I fed and the table which I get is that this is going to be an unpivoted table. Right On every single table, what the function has done is remove the three rows, apply the filters, unpivot, and so on and so forth, and I have the, now the clean table. I'm just going to keep the custom column. I'm also going to keep the year column, right click and remove all the other columns. And now I can happily um, expand this table uh, and just click on OK. And I have the name of the salesperson, the month, the units, and the year. I can very well go to the Home tab. In the Home tab, I can click on Close and Load the data. And this data is now brought into my Excel, all unpivoted, all combined together into my Excel file. All right, that was all about combining the data and unpivoting the data from multiple Excel files and bringing them all together. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to put down a comment and I'll be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout out about my DAX and my Power Query courses. If you're starting out and you need help right from scratch to learn the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more complicated, more sophisticated problems of your own data, I will highly recommend that you take a look at my course. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.